how this will impact these small business owners. Chefs Nakia Hatley and Marcel Douglas are serving up their home cooked meals for free to the hungry in Lamert Park. We are making our jerk mushroom and jackfruit tacos. There we have some curry chicken. When they aren't here, they are selling their Jamaican and vegan dishes at festivals and markets. The name of my business is My Daddy's Recipes. I am a home cook. For Hatley and Douglas, that has meant renting out costly kitchen space and paying thousands of dollars a year in permits and other fees. It can be anywhere between $1,500 and $4,000 a month to be in a commercial kitchen to be able to come out here and serve. And then the fee of whatever the event is. But a new state law now adopted by LA County called the Micro Enterprise Home Kitchen Operations Ordinance aims to streamline the process for the more than 50,000 food vendors here locally to allow them to prepare and sell meals straight from home. It's really a part of our culture. So LA County Supervisor Holly Mitchell introduced the motion last year. Probably. They'll have to pass inspections by the LA but County Department of Health. That's front of mind for me in terms of making sure that the products we buy are prepared in kitchens that have been um, visited, regulated, and held to a very high standard of, of public health and safety. So many of these small businesses run by women and minorities. A statewide survey by Cook Alliance found 84% of sidewalk vendors and home cooks are women and 48% identify as black, Latinx, or multiracial. This is a game changer. Um, we'll be able to get that one permit for the year and be able to work from my home. For these chefs, it will also mean they will be able to help yes. feed their <laughs> South LA community even more. She has some of the best, best Jamaican food out here. And protect the cultural and culinary fabric that makes up LA. We are grateful for this.